I'm trying to understand how HIV hides during antiretroviral therapy and what we are trying to do with the support of the m is to find the cells in which HIV is able to persist after very long-term uh, antiretroviral therapy. Does that happen in all patients? So that happens in pretty much all patients except the one that has been that have been receiving treatment very early on. There is like some data right now showing that if you treat very early on, you can prevent the establishment of this latent reservoir. But even if you do so by using very sensitive assay, you can always find some cells in which HIV has established those latent reservoirs. And are you working with any patients who have very very early therapy? So we do. Uh, we actually have access to cohorts uh, to two different cohorts of patients who have been receiving hard during early Therapy. The first one is the one that has been developed uh, by uh, the, the, the French, the ANRS, which is called the Visconti Patients, and as you say, Syrian from Institut Pasteur is part of this ARCH collaboration and is trying to understand why these people do not rebound when ARCH is interrupted. And the other cohort of very acute infection which uh, we are working with is the one uh, developed by the Military HIV Research Program and the Thai Red Cross in collabor collaboration with Internet and Voronich and others, uh, which are people who have been receiving ARCH very, very early on, as, uh, as early as FIB1, which is basically the first few weeks after HIV infection. And the work we've been doing so far uh, shows that in those patients who have been receiving ARCH very early on, the frequency of cells in which HIV establishes a reservoir are extremely low and usually undetectable. And what is AMFAR's role in supporting this research? So AMFAR basically put all of us together. So uh, we are a large group of people coming from the, the different continents. So a group from uh, the US, from um, Thailand, from Australia, from France. Um, who did I forget? I think, I, yeah. And uh, so the AMFAR gave us the, the opportunity to work all together. And the, the idea of this was not to only exchange ideas, which of course is great, but also to exchange patient samples because we share different expertise. And uh, by putting everything in common in the context of this ARCH and FARC collaboration, I think we're going to get the best we can do from this sample. Great. Um, so what are the biggest challenges you need to overcome? Well, one of the biggest challenges is try of, of course, to get rid of the viral reservoir. But uh, we said that one, even before that, what we have to, 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 to develop are assays that will give us a very clear and precise idea of the size of the latent reservoir. There is still a lot of controversy in the field on what should be measured what is correlated to uh, a viral rebound or viral control after an interruption, I, th I think we still don't know. So we still have a lot of work to do in this area. So how optimistic are you that we'll find a boldly applicable cure for HIV in the next five or 10 years? So, you know, the news of the Mississippi baby and the, and the, 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 the Boston patients have been quite depressing to the field, but I think we should not get depressed at all. I'm actually very confident. Uh, I think all the progress that has been made in the in the field of HIV vaccination, for instance, is very promising. I think pretty much everybody now agrees that uh, we will not find a cure by only trying to get rid of the reservoir, but that we have also to induce some kind of a control that will be mediated by the immune system. And I think that in this area, we have made considerable progress in the past few years. So I'm very confident.